at some point, Jack Dorsey, who is was the long running CEO of Zitter before it became X, before Elon bought it, um, at some point, there was a time where Twitter was extremely, extremely cuckolded. It was like a walled garden for homosexuals to beat off into each other's mouths and nothing else. So, but the problem was some of those homosexuals beating off into each other's mouths would also say, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm quite okay with this whole trans business. And they would begrudgingly tolerate that perspective. So there was both an extreme contingent of like anarcho capitalist trannies. Um, oh, okay. Here were the three groups that were not welcome on Twitter by the end of Twitter becoming X. Okay. The um, extreme far left who were afraid of any contrary opinions. Uh, Lollicons from Japan uh, who wanted to share Lollicon. And neo-Nazis and basically anyone uh, further right than Obama. I think that's a good way to put it. So, like, the majority of the entire world, <laughs> besides, like, a very... I, it's not even the majority, but the majority of, like, politically active people... And uh, a good amount of the Japanese were not permitted on Twitter for the purposes of what they want to use it for. So the Fediverse began ticking up in popularity. And I've talked about it before, but the Fediverse is basically a defederated or a federated Twitter. It's kind of like if email, um, and if Twitter worked like email. That's the best way to put it. Um, and for whatever reason, Jack Dorsey, who was at the time the CEO of Twitter, did not like the Fediverse. But he liked the idea of the Fediverse. So he started up his own project called Blue Sky that was supposed to be the exact same fucking thing. It's supposed to be Twitter, but works like email, but it's just not the Fediverse. Uh, I have no clue. I, I think actually there was one thing. There was a couple couple reasons why he didn't like the Fediverse. It was something about blocking. Like the way that blocking worked didn't work. Or Mm, that's killing me. I wish I um I don't have my messenger. I'd ask Crunklord. He knows this. There's a specific way that the Fediverse works that didn't per that had like a bad user experience connected to it be uh because of how it handled some kind of like blocks or something. So, uh he he started up like his own version of the Fediverse called Blue Sky. And now he's departed Blue Sky as well after Elon took over X. And I don't know why. Um, there is, there's kind of the theory that Jack Dorsey, and I think Elon even like sent him a message like, like, wow, he's such a great guy. There's kind of like a, like a theory that Jack Dorsey is like secretly based. I don't think so, though. I think that what happened is, is that Jack Dorsey is a fucking loser. And he loses control of every project he's involved in. And he either quit Blue Sky for one of two reasons. Either A, he lost control because he's like a lunatic that dresses up like a fucking cult leader. Like a mix between Jack Dorsey and... and um, who was the guy that had the beard that was like a cult leader? Am I thinking of the, the satanic guy from, from England? I don't know. Listen, he just looks like a loser is all I'm trying to say. I want to talk, but I, I know when I, when I see one, okay? And so either A, he just lost creative control, and he, he is upset about that, so he leaves. Or he, um... <laughs> it's not Rennie's problem. I don't know who I'm thinking of, okay? Uh, but the... Uh, my, my personal theory, my real theory is that Blue Sky is losing funding. I don't think that Jack Dorsey is secretly based. I think he's a fucking idiot. I think he's a loser. I think he hates everybody. That isn't him. And I think that Blue Sky is losing money. I think that the, the there is probably like a slush fund of anti-based people that were trying to prop up Blue Sky as an alternative to X because they don't like Elon Musk and they don't like the uh, type of speech that he permits on X now. And they want to bankrupt that that um, program because they don't like the fact that people have free communication again. But Threads now exist. And the pay I think that Threads is now like where all the faggots go. 
um, I've seen both Maddox and Patrick S. Tomlinson talking about how they get better engagement on threads. And I think they get better engagement on threads because that's just like where their people are. They're already on threads. And Instagram is propping up threads by trying to force people interested in certain types of, of, of features to use threads instead of using Instagram. So it's kind of like um, Google propped up um, Google Plus. If you remember, if you're old enough to remember Google Plus and the time that Google tried to start up a competitor to Facebook by making a social media program that forced everybody with a YouTube account to suddenly join Google Plus. Um, I think it's like that. Instagram is trying to force uh, its users to start using threads with hopes that they can bootstrap that social media program in the same way that Google tried to bootstrap uh, Google+. Plus. However, um, it does seem like threads does have some organic use, apparently. I've seen posts with thousands of likes and stuff, so maybe it is doing well. Um, I kind of hope it doesn't. It's one thing, where It's as much as I don't want to root for Elon, I do like X. And I do like the fact that I can talk about all the shit that I want to talk about. And uh, as long as I abide by some very basic rules, which effectively amount to don't ki wish, don't say you're going to kill anybody and don't say that you want somebody to die and uh, avoid certain explicit words like retard unless you don't mind your thread, your post not getting seen by anybody. But that's it. But I think there's enough people who are, like, genuinely upset by any kind of speech that they don't like enough to, like, give threads some 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 lift, some, some momentum. And I think that Facebook wants to broaden its crippling, crippling, crippled, dying niche. Because, what like, Facebook basically only exists by buying up other programs that are successful. They had Facebook and everything else they've tried to make sucks. Then they bought Instagram, and they bought um, WhatsApp, and now they're fighting TikTok and Snapchat uh, for for users, and they wanna they wanna expand again. Well, Threads is like a there, there's like a Twitter platform that was successful, and then it was actually the most successful social media site after 2020, I think. So now now that's in turmoil. Maybe we can capitalize on this. I hope they don't, because they suck. So apparently boomers on Facebook can get away with saying a lot now. Who knows? Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Bill Remember to like and subscribe.